Norman had been planning to tackle the wasp situation for a few weeks now. They'd made an enormous nest under the eaves near one of the back corners office house, and it had made sitting outside and enjoying the sunset difficult to say the least. He'd been stung twice, and just the threat of a third. One hod kept him inside, staring through a window at an otherwise beautiful evening on no less than three occasions. He donned a heavy pair of jeans, with the cuffs ducked into his socks, a thick flannel jacket, a pair of leather work gloves, a motorcycle helmet he'd borrowed from his neighbor, and a tool belt with a can of anti-wasp foam jammed in a holster meant for a hammer. Glancing at himself in the mirror, Norman fancied that he looked like an absurd three-way cross between a woodsman, a biker, and an astronaut. He set the ladder against the side of the house and climbed slowly up, taking the time to be sure of each step and pausing completely at any sign of shaking or other movements. Around halfway, he realized that it was he who was doing most off the shaking not the ladder. Almost to the top, the wasps started pinging against the helmet. There were quite a few of them, and he waved them away with one hand, feeling quite protected under his layers of gear. He then reached for the can and took it out. The foam sprayed thick and fast coating the outside of the nest in a sticky poison that trapped any remaining wasps inside. There were still a few buzzing around his head as he finished the contents of the can, not wanting to leave anything to chance. He didn't stick around to admire his handiwork, eager to be back on terra firma as quickly as possible. He made his way down the ladder again, taking a little less care with each step now that the task was done. When he stepped off the bottom, he removed the motorcycle helmet from his now sweaty head and looked up to see how things had gone. The nest was now a dead zone, he reckoned, with nothing moving in or out. He wasn't thrilled about taking a life of any kind, but he knew it had to be done. Later that evening, Norman sat out on his back deck with a cup of tea to watch the sunset. A lone wasp circled down, landed on him, and dug its stinger into his arm. Norman looked down, unable to squish the wasp out of a sense of guilt. This sting, he thought, was well deserved. 